in the Bible, and it was uh, Tryphena and Tryphosa, mm. who Paul um, mentioned them as fellow laborers together in the Lord. Yes. So that's a sisterhood. They were women who were teaching or preaching. Um, that's a sisterhood. Amen. Um, so as I was uh, thinking about Rachel and Leah, we know the story of Rachel and Leah. They're, they were sisters, but they also had right. There was a rivalry. Mm-hmm. They were, their their relationship was what we call today complicated. Yes, it was complicated. Okay. Whenever we got a man in the mix, you already know it gets complicated. It sure does. And there, um, but out of that, we also have matriarchs of the faith. We've got the 12 tribes of Israel mm. that came out of that mess. Mm-hmm. So um, God used that where um, Laban's two daughters are, um, well, Jacob sees, you know, he leaves his home because him and Esau done got into it. Exactly. Because he took the birthright. Yeah. And Esau done declared he was going to kill him. Exactly. So he had to leave. Amen. And his mama helped him. Told him, you better get out of here. Exactly. And so he goes and stays with his uncle. And while he's there, he realizes he he's in falling in love with, with uh, Rachel. Yes. And Laban tells him, I'll give you I'll give you Rachel, but you got to work for me seven years. Yes. He does it. His uncle tricks him. Mm-hmm. But he wanted Rachel. Yes. So he's willing to work another seven years. Exactly. That's now we've got... Around. We got mm-hmm. yes the layman spirit the layman mm-hmm. the layman don't get paid don't mm-hmm. get nothing mm-hmm. <laughs> well you don't right. get what you want yeah you, you don't spirit. get what you, you work want hard and don't yes. get what you deserve yeah. and he exactly. realized or the, these two sisters realized that they're now competing for this man's attention mm-hmm. but even in all of that um, I mean they they are uh, bartering or. You sleep with them this time, I sleep with them that time. Mm-hmm. But because Leah was not the chosen one, God compensated her. Mm-hmm. And she had, she basically was with him longer than Rachel was. Yes, she was. And then she bared six sons. Mm-hmm. She had six sons. And um, that was a relationship between sisters. Yeah. And there was still a great result of it because we have the 12 tribes of Israel. Amen. Then we have um, our other sisters, Mary and Martha. And um, Jesus was coming through Bethany and Martha has a home. She wants Jesus to come to her home. Jesus is with his disciples. She's trying to prepare. And the Bible says that Jesus, she opens her home to Mary. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, she, Martha opens her home to Jesus. And then the next scripture, it says Mary is sitting at his feet. Mm-hmm. It didn't say he had a lot of greetings and words and whatnot. He came and apparently he went right into teaching and she was at his feet. Wow. And Mary and Martha, I, I just, in my interpretation, it's, they started this thing out. We're together. Yes. We, we're sisters. We're yes. doing this together. Yes. But you left me. Yes. We, we're supposed to be doing this together. Amen. And you left me. Mm-hmm. And we were talking earlier about, um, about that. But she wanted Jesus to make sure that can you just get her to come, like, excuse her from where she's what she's doing right now exactly. so she can come and help me yes. prepare for you. Yes. <laughs> and so a lot of times it's not that preparing for the Lord is, is a bad thing. Amen. But when we're preparing to the point where it's 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 taking us away from being at his feet. Yes. And from gleaning from him. Yes. Because, yeah, we want to prepare for him. Amen. We want to prepare a place for him. Yes. But if it means us uh, doing other stuff, like he don't need all that. He Amen. said, in, even in, in the 10th chapter of Luke, he says, uh, she's, 
she's doing a, she's doing a lot of stuff. Exactly. But only one thing is important. Yes. You know, and when we recognize that God don't require a whole lot of extra stuff. Amen. He just really wants your heart. That's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. It's all about, are you going to follow me? Amen. Will you listen to what I have to say? Yes. Will you take the world, put it aside, and come follow me? Yes. Amen. And I think about even in that, how... Well, um, and 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 when we've been talking about Abraham, and the Bible says that uh, Abraham's faith was counted to him as righteousness. Amen. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't so much that you know God gave him a list of things that He was going to do for him. Yes. The first thing He told him was, "Leave your family. Yes. Get up. Mm-hmm. Gotta go." Amen. Mm-hmm. And it was Abraham trusted God. Yes. That's what caused him to be. That's what co- was counted to him as righteousness. Amen. And so when we stop doing the things of the world, yes. you know, we got our sisters, we got our, you know, what we doing. And you watch the one that's, she's with you. We doing everything together. We, 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 we shopping together. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know who all party. I'm not a partier, but mm-hmm. you know, we going out, we getting turned up together. Okay. <laughs> you know, we doing a lot of stuff together. Okay. But all of a sudden, she she ain't she ain't wanting to go no more. Amen. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, Amen. she got something else to do. Well, what Amen. are you doing? Mm-hmm. Well, she's you talking to her about stuff that's still happening in your life. You still doing stuff, but now everything coming out of her mouth is the word of God. What's mm-hmm. up with that? Mm-hmm. What is she doing? She's sitting at the feet of Jesus. Thank mm-hmm. you, Lord. But we're supposed to be together. Exactly. We're supposed to be doing this together. Yes. Right? Yes. We're living life together. We're doing life together. Yes. But you done flipped the script. Mm-hmm. Now you're sitting at the feet of Jesus. Yes. Mm-hmm. We were supposed mm-hmm. to be going, hanging out, doing such and such. Not nothing bad, per no. se. Mm-hmm. But you, you stood me up. Where you at? Mm-hmm. Oh, I went to church. Mm-hmm. What would you do that for? <laughs> we were supposed to be going so and so and such and such. Right. You know. Yeah. She's at the feet of Jesus. Yes. Watch that one. Amen. You want somebody in your corner that don't have a problem with sitting at the feet of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, uh, at the end of that that chapter, Jesus called Martha. Mm-hmm. And he didn't just call her one time. He said her name twice. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> she wants Jesus to correct Mary. Get yes. with her. Yes. And he's like, wait, 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 wait. Martha, Martha. <laughs> Listen. Hold no. on no. no. up a minute. No. She's yeah. chosen. Mary's chosen a good part. Amen. Yeah. That's good. She's doing the good thing. Sometimes we get so caught up in me and my sister doing things together mm-hmm. that Jesus got to call your name a couple of times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He need to get your attention. Amen. Amen. What are we doing? Amen. And so I also thought about Mary and Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. And Elizabeth mm-hmm. is Mary's uh, aunt mm-hmm. on her mother's side. And um, the angel of the Lord appears to Elizabeth and tells her she's going to have a son. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it appears to Zachariah. Zachariah, he don't he's he don't doubt, so the Lord gotta shut his mouth. Amen. But Elizabeth um takes the word of the Lord and Angel appears to her. She's going forth in the spirit. And and um these were two women who were not sisters per se, but they had a common interest. Yes. Mary and Martha, they were both pregnant basically at the same time. Amen. And um after Elizabeth becomes pregnant and I thought this was very interesting um, because we're the, how this um, session went last night talking about prophecy yes. I thought this was very interesting and I never even um, hadn't quite put it like this before but um, he tells her that um, Gabriel tells her she's going to conceive and the Holy Spirit um, tells her to you know um, uh after after Elizabeth is, is six months pregnant, the angel of the Lord appears to Mary mm-hmm. and tells her that she's going to have the Messiah, mm-hmm. pretty much. And how is this going to happen? I don't know a man. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and so um, she conceives. And when Mary conceives and the spirit of the Lord is on Mary, yes. she goes to see her aunt. Mm-hmm. And at the greeting... She just she just greets her aunt. Yes. 
and the greeting causes the baby in her womb to leap. Yes. And not only that, but mm. Elizabeth receives the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. And just the greeting. Yes. Do you have a woman in your life mm. that when she speaks to you, mm -hmm. something changes? There's a transformation mm -hmm. that happens on the inside of you. Wow. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you have a sister in your life mm -hmm. that when she speaks to you, yes. That the words that she speaks are so powerful and she's led of the Holy Spirit that your life is about to be changed forever. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. Amen. Who's who's in your company? That's right. Amen. Very Who are you keeping in your company? Yes. That's, that's so good. <laughs> and it was and, and the crazy thing to me was, and I, I promise you, I didn't even I never read it like this before, mm -hmm. but I'm looking at it now through the eyes of I prophecy. Amen. Because Let the words when the she when when a, the this the spirit leapt in her womb, now John is filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Elizabeth says, "Blessed are you among women." Yes. Why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? My God. Mm. Who told oh. her that Jesus was in Mary's womb? Oh, my God. There was two right. visitations. Yeah. <laughs> Who told her? She, Mary didn't say, I'm carrying the Messiah. How the prophetic began to that was the, the, the prophetic. She prophesied. Amen. 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 She prophesied. That's the umbrella of the prophetic. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Come on. I was like, Come that on. is, I, I never, ever, yeah. I, never, yeah. I never got that. Yeah. Yeah. But the Holy Spirit, Spirit began to reveal to Elizabeth what was happening. Mm. Yes. Wow. You need a important. sister that will greet you and the Holy Spirit changes My everything about you. My God. My God. Speak My God. Wow. Who, who, who's who's in your company? Amen. Who's in your company? Amen. It was revelation knowledge that happened at that very moment. Mm. At that very moment, mm. good teacher. Mm. Yes. yes. And so I said, okay, yes. I'm gonna come back to that, Lord. I'm gonna, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna dig deep in that. Yes. I'm gonna dig That's deep in that. Because yeah. I said, wow, look, prophecy was happening. Right. You can still dig in there. It was, it was happening. <laughs> yes. And then I said, okay, my God. So now we're going to, um, uh, to to after that is happening, God has. At this point, he has chosen to bless the entire world because Jesus is coming. And now yeah. he's given us John, who's preparing the way for Jesus. Yes. And now Jesus is coming to be the Savior of the world Amen. and to reconcile us back to God. Yes. Um, and then um, some scriptures that came to me. Uh, Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loveth at all times. And a brother is born for adversity. You need a sister in your corner mm -hmm. that's loyal. Exactly. You want somebody that's going to be there Amen. when you need them. Amen. Mm -hmm. They'll drop what they're doing to come see about you. Yes. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Proverbs 27, 17. Amen. You want somebody that's going to sharpen you to be better. Yes. Amen. Somebody that's going to sharpen you to help propel you to the next level. Amen. Amen. Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Yes. You need somebody in your corner that's going to help you get the job done. Amen. Amen. You need a you need a solid sister. We don't, you don't have to have, I don't need 50 girlfriends. No, man. But if I got one good one, right. I need a good, I need a ride or die. Yes. You want somebody that's going to be there in the time of adversity. You gonna, you need somebody when I'm feeling lonely, mm -hmm. I got somebody I can call on. Yes. When I need somebody to go take care of something and I know, look, I, I know this one right here, she going to get, she going to get in the trenches with me. Amen. 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 Romans 12 and 10. Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love in honor, preferring one another. Mm hmm and I begin to break this down, uh, that, that kindly affection mm. is like a fond natural, uh, a fond of natural relatives. It's like the, particularly talking about the tender love of a parent and a child. Mm -hmm. That's that kind affection. Yes. 
um, and it says one to another, which is reciprocal, back and forth. Mm-hmm. It's a mutual mm-hmm. thing. Exactly. So I don't. Lo- you don't love me more, more than, than I, I love, love you. you. Amen. You're not gonna go an extra mile more than I'm gonna go an extra mile for you. Amen. We we're in this. We're together. doing this together. Yes. With brotherly love, that's a love which Christians cherish for each other. Amen. As a brother, that's a bond. Amen. Because there's a bond that we have in the body of Christ that's different than that of blood relative yes. biological. Yes. Mm-hmm. In honor, um, and in the word says, um, in honor, preferring one another, and in in that word, in honor, in the Greek is talking about the value, uh, the price is fixed. It's a, it's a, mm-hmm. it's valuable. Mm-hmm. This is the kind of love that is valuable. Yes. Like you want this kind of love. This is not just something another. I, I like you. Mm-hmm. You know the Bible says you're supposed to love your neighbor. You know, so you just you know how we say, well, I love everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, this Did is a really? love that's valuable. Amen. Mm-hmm. This Amen. is a love that's valuable. It's esteemed to the highest degree, mm-hmm. and it's preferring uh, one another Amen. to go before. This pr- word prefer means to go before as a leader. Mm-hmm. One going before another as an example mm-hmm. of defer- deference, mm-hmm. meaning submitting. Mm-hmm. You're submitting yes. to this other person. Mm-hmm. One another. We're going back and forth. It's a mutual thing, yeah. but it's often. Meaning it's all the time. Yes. I don't like I I am not gonna go an extra mile with you today and maybe not tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I don't have time. Yes. No, this is often. We're doing this all the time. Yes. yes. This is something that we should do as a, a the body of Christ. Amen. Mm-hmm. So you want somebody in your corner that's gonna take the word of God and when they love you, they love you. Yes. When they working with you, when they rolling with you, they rolling with Amen. you. Amen. We're Amen. not we're not playing with this. Exactly. This is this is for real. Yes. And we're supposed to have somebody that we're supposed to be able to go through with. Yes. Yes. There's somebody that's supposed that's been assigned to you. Amen. There's somebody who's been assigned to you. Who's in your who's who what company are you keeping? Mm. Do you just have some girls? Mm. Or is this somebody who's been assigned to you? Amen. You want somebody who's assigned to you. Yes. You don't want to be just living life haphazardly. You want to be living life with a purpose. Amen. So you need people in your life. You need a sisterhood. This is the power of a sisterhood. sisterhood. Because these people can be assigned to you. And you can have more than one. Amen. Mm-hmm. You know, Amen. you might have three or four. Mm-hmm. I just need one. Amen. Yeah. I just need one. Yes. And then we talk about uh, Naomi and Ruth. Mm-hmm. And so in this... Um, I was reading all four chapters, but I just got out of that how the relationship can help us Mm -hmm. as females. Mm -hmm. And the first thing that I thought about, because, okay, we all know the story of Naomi and Ruth. Naomi's husband dies. They left uh, Bethlehem, Judah, to go to Moab because... There was a famine in the land. This man dies. Yes. Mm-hmm. They got two sons. Mm-hmm. These two sons take two wives in the land of Moab. Moab. Mm-hmm. So they got two Moabite women. Mm-hmm. No, two Moabite women. Amen. They live there ten years. The two sons die, and Naomi's like, "Okay, I'm going home. Yes, I ain't got nothing here. No. I have nothing to give no. you. So you go home." I'm going home. Exactly. You go back to your mama's house. I'm going back to my mm-hmm. mama's house. I'm going back to mm-hmm. where it's familiar. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And Orpah says, "I go. I'm going home." Naomi said, "I ain't leaving you." Mm-hmm. I mean, Ruth says, "I'm not leaving you. Mm-hmm. I'm not leaving you." Amen. And she she nudged Naomi said, "Go. Don't. I don't have nothing for you." Amen. So, I'm poor now. I don't have anything. Exactly. And she says, I'm not leaving you. And to the point where uh, Naomi finally, the Bible says, she stopped talking. Yes. Like, this she, this girl ain't going nowhere. Exactly. She ain't going nowhere. Ain't no need of me saying nothing else. I'm with you. Mm-hmm. And so she continued on with her. She's like, go home and you, you can remarry again. Yes. I, I'm too old to have a child now. Are, are you going to wait until they, if I have a child, God... You know, if, if that be his will, if I have a child, you're going to wait for him to grow up and so you can have husbands. Mm. And so they go their separate ways. But Ruth stays there and she says, 
Where you go, I'm going. Exactly. Where you sleep, I'm going to sleep. Amen. Your people going to be my people. Amen. Your God is going to be my God. Amen. And where you die, I'm going to be buried. Amen. Wow. You want somebody. That's a ride or die. That man. is. Amen. That's a true ride or die. Yes. And she's younger. Mm-hmm. She's younger than Naomi. Amen. And she realizes there's something that I need from this woman. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to leave her. Amen. Oh, that's good. They said they they working well together. Yes, they're working well together. She has something that she can give to Naomi, and Naomi has yes. something that she can give to her. Amen. And it's not financial. No, this thing is deeper than that. Yes, mm-hmm. it's deeper than that. Amen. That's cool. So in the first chapter, there, the Bible says she cleaved. Mm-hmm. You need somebody that's gonna stick and stay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want somebody that's gonna stick and stay. Amen. It's, I mean, how what? Well, how much worse could it get? I'm here with you while it's bad. Amen. Mm-hmm. You need somebody that's gonna stick and stay. Wow. Yes. You want somebody that loves your God just as much as you do. Amen. They want your God just like you want your God. Yes. And they're not trying to take you off of your game. Amen. They're not trying to, they don't want you to dummy down your spiritual walk. Amen. But they want what you got Amen. in the spirit. Amen. The second point was Naomi, uh, Ruth was humble in, verse, in, in the second chapter, in the uh, second verse. She was humble. And she was not lazy. She had an inner drive. Yeah. She says, she basically told, asked Naomi, can can I go and glean? I'm can, I'm gonna go and get the corn. Yeah. I'm gonna go glean. Is that is that gonna be all right? Mm-hmm. She's not saying, I I'm, I'm just gonna lay around here and we just gonna figure. You know, when it, if it come, it come. But yeah. I'm not going nowhere. No, she got up off of her seat and she was like, you old, I'm gonna go do something. Mm-hmm. She had an inner drive. She wasn't lazy. Yes. If you have a girlfriend in your life that's lazy, mm-hmm. run. You better speak. Get away from her. You Quickly. Better, you better speak mm-hmm. on that. Quickly. That's Move. A, that's a good word right there. You want somebody that's got an inner drive. Yes. Because when you get low, she going to help pick you up. Amen. She ain't going to let you be down. Not no, we got to keep moving exactly. forward. Exactly. And she's going to bring to your life to bring you where you need to be. Yes. This was it was um, so much so that the where they were, the people knew who Naomi was. They got back to him. Isn't that Elimelech's wife? Wasn't that? Ain't that who that was? Mm-hmm. They was like, ain't that Naomi? And Naomi was like, don't even call me that, because mm-hmm. I, I this is not good. Yeah. I done lost my husband. I lost my son. They mm-hmm. knew who she was, mm-hmm. and she was poor. So they weren't sitting around waiting for something to happen. Ruth says, I'm going to go make it happen. Yes. Don't have to worry about nothing, Naomi. I got you. Mm. The other point that we see in, in with the sisters, oh, well, I call them sisters, but they weren't sisters, mm-hmm. mother and daughter-in-law, mm-hmm. is Ruth has favor. Yes. She has favor. Amen. She goes... And Boaz begins to inquire about this this young girl that's in the fields. Yes. He wants to know who is this. So much though, he starts telling them, let her have, you know, let her glean a little bit more. Yeah. And don't don't get on her about it. Let mm-hmm. her have it. Yes. Also, you want somebody that has sense enough to recognize authority. Amen. Somebody in your life that has sense enough to recognize authority. Amen. When she sees what's happening here, that the 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 men are are men under a Boaz, she immediately tells them how much. Basically, thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. They, you don't have to do this. Exactly. And she's humble. Amen. Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. humble. Yes. You want somebody who's not uh, so flighty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That knows how to talk. Yes. They know what to do in the situation. Amen. You know, they, they've had some home training. Yes. Yes. She recognized authority. 
The fifth thing was you want somebody that's not just looking out for self. Amen. In the 11th verse, it says there was a blessing for her because she was looking out for Naomi. Yes. She was looking out for Naomi. Amen. And she wanted to make sure that she had enough for Naomi to be taken care of. Yes. Also, she wasn't greedy. Mm. You don't want nobody greedy. Amen. You don't want nobody greedy. Amen. You want somebody with some temperance. Amen. <coughs> Boaz offered uh, Ruth mealtime. Mm. She ate. And the Bible says to she was it was sufficient. Mm-hmm. She didn't overeat. I think I, I say she was quite smart. Right. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. she had a, a business mind mm-hmm. because she realized if I eat too much, I'm gonna be tired and I ain't gonna want to go back out here in this field. All right, mm-hmm. amen. Mm-hmm. But she ate just enough to make sure she had a, the strength to finish out the day. Amen. So that she could glean as much as she needed. Yes. When you practice temperance, restraint, modesty, you're not so full that you can't continue the work. Amen. 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 So you want some you don't want to be greedy. Amen. And then that allow that will set you up for prosperity. All right. All right. It'll set you up for prosperity. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You wanna be you wanna have somebody in your corner who's generous. Yes. She brought what she had. And she gave it to Naomi. Amen. She goes, and I went out there and I did this. Amen. I was a toiling in the hot sun. Yes. But she brought what she gathered and she gave it to Naomi. Amen. In the second chapter of Ruth, it says that Ruth told Naomi what was good. Hmm. So you need somebody in your life. You need a sister in your life that's going to tell you what is good. Amen. She told Ruth the the basically no Boaz had told her, you know, you stick you can stick here with the men and they'll you know, they're going to let you do what you need to do. When she got home and told Naomi that, Naomi said, "You stick with the handmaidens." Mm. Yes. Not that that was bad. No. But these are more like you. Stick with the hand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You need somebody that's going to tell you something good. Yes. They're wise enough to hear, and they're going to lead you down the right path. Yes. Na- Naomi had some experience. Amen. Mm-hmm. She wasn't a young woman. She was an older woman. Yes. Then you want a sister that's obedient. Amen. Because Ruth did exactly what Naomi told her to yes, do. Yes, she did. Not only then we get into the third chapter where Naomi starts to give her instruction about uh, when when Boaz goes to the threshing floor. Mm-hmm. She's telling her he's going to go and usually at the harvest time and they, there's a celebration and whatnot. These are the things I want you to do. Yes. She said, you go and you get at his feet. Yes. But she said, don't let him see you. Hmm. Don't make yourself known. Amen. She told her how to be chaste. Mm-hmm. She didn't want her a, a busy body. Yes. And they had already been watching what Ruth was doing. Mm-hmm. She wasn't out there flirting with the men. Her mm-hmm. husband did. Amen. But she was just doing what she could to help her mother-in-law. Yes. And they were watching her. And Naomi told her, you go and don't, don't be seen. Mm-hmm. She was giving her instruction mm-hmm. on what to do. I believe Naomi knew she would be seen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Just get out there and keep your mouth closed. Yes. Don't talk too much. Mm-hmm. Don't be telling everybody your business. Amen. She began to give her instruction. Mm-hmm. And then she specifically said, you get at his feet. Mm, yeah. After he's eaten, he done drank, mm-hmm. he's full, mm-hmm. and he's good, and he get right there at his feet. Mm. And she did just that. He was still telling her what was good. Yes. And then the last thing, the elders, when when uh, they gave the opportunity, well, uh, Boaz had an opportunity to be the kinsman redeemer, but there was another kinsman. Mm. This other kinsman didn't purchase the land that Naomi had 
or mortgage the land that Naomi had because this was going to mar up his his inheritance and what he was doing. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so Boaz steps in. He said, and he already knew that the, he knew how this would play out. But he said, now if he doesn't, if he doesn't take y'all on, then I got you. Amen. Okay. And when that time came. And he took Naomi, I mean, he took Ruth to be his wife. There was an opportunity there that the elders, it says, witnessed this. Wow. Because he gathered the people together. The elders witnessed this. Mm. And they were so on board with it because of one of the life that Ruth lived. Mm. And the way she carried herself. Yes. That they said, may you be like, they blessed her. They prophesied to her. May you be like Rachel and Leah. Amen. That's right. That's right. Wow. (laughs) May you be like Rachel and Leah. Yes. Who has blessed us. Mm. Because we got, this is is where our, our nation has come from. Yes. That who together built up the family of Israel. Amen. They were speaking into her life. Yes. And the last thing was, you want somebody that can birth a promise or a legacy. Amen. And that's what she did. Yes. Her and Boaz got together. She conceived a son. And Obed was born. Amen. Who was the father of Jesse. Yes. Who was the father of David. Yes. David. Amen. And then 14 generations later, we got Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. They yes. spoke to, may you be like Rachel and Leah. Yes. 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 And that's what happened. Amen. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. So you want women in your life that can help take you to the next level. Uh, that's good right there. That's a good one. She was just another, she was just another woman from the Moabite country. Amen. Mm-hmm. And this woman ends up in a right seat. Mm. Mm-hmm. But she had a sister in her corner. Yeah, it was her mother-in-law, but the sisterhood. Yes. They weren't blood. No. But there was a sisterhood there. Mm-hmm. And she was obedient mm-hmm. to the things that Naomi was telling her. And Ruth was able to give to Naomi. Wow. It was one another. It was reciprocal. It was yes. mutual. Mm-hmm. Yes. It was back and forth. Yes. And that's what we have to do. Amen. We have Amen. to give that. We've got to have that. That's right. And so I thought about, well, when we get focused, yes. we got a covenant. We got a covenant with God. Amen. Now, this covenant came, we, we're the Gentiles. Amen. We were drafted in. Mm. That's what happened with Ruth. Mm. Wow. She was drafted in. Amen. Mm-hmm. And then she became obedient. She was like, wait, I, I, I recognize I done got in something good. I'm not leaving this. Amen. We got to get, once we recognize that we've got a covenant with God, we mm-hmm. stick to that thing. We hold on to that thing. We don't let it go. Amen. I don't care what happens in your life. You don't let go of the covenant. Not at all. But you need people in your life with you that's going to help you go. Hi. That's going to keep you on track. Yes. Mm-hmm. And if that means you might have to let some people go, everybody can't. There's some girlfriends that you can't hang with. Amen. You're going to have to disassociate yourself with them. Amen. Because you're not going to be able to go to the next level hanging on with them. Because you, they're messing up, they messing up your track. Mm. Can't do that. Amen. And so then we have, we get focused. Yes. I'm not looking back. Amen. Yeah. I'm not going back. That's right. Mm-hmm. There's something for me. Yes. God's got a plan for me. Amen. I can't go back. No, no. I said yes. Yes. The Bible tells us, what was the man that puts his hand to the plow and look back? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's not worthy, not worthy of the kingdom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you've got to get focused. you got to get your mind set like your eyes are set on Jesus. Yes. They are fixed. Yes. And that's all you're doing. Amen. I got the covenant. I'm staying focused. Yes. And I got a sister to go with. Me. Amen. 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 I got a sister to go with. Me. Yes. And so I'm grateful today for this opportunity because we might have, you might have some sisters in your life that 
You know they're not for you. Mm, amen. You got to let them go. Amen. You might have some sisters who are for you, but you won't let them be there for you. Mm. You think they not we don't want to have nothing in common. So mm. I can't I can't get with them. Mm. But God has placed them there for a reason. Amen. Us being in this setting, it's not by accident not that we are true. here. Amen. We sisters. Amen. We've experienced some things in this house that will forever stay in this house. Amen. That's right. Amen. And you won't hear it outside because everybody here was here for the same reason. Amen. You need sisters like that. Yes. That you can confide in. Amen. Or when the Lord exposes something. You ain't got to worry about hearing it out there. That's right. He sealed it right here. Yes. And then not only that, because now that I know, I know how to pray you through. Amen. I know how to intercede for you. Yes. You know how to intercede for me. Amen. Because we now get to share those moments together. Yes. Don't despise these gatherings. Amen. Sisters are important. Yes. We're not always bickering and fighting mm-hmm. and hating mm-hmm. on one another. Amen. Talking about what they should have did and who they should have been with mm-hmm. and how they should dress. And no, we got some there's some sisters that love one another. Yes. And we want to help you. You want to help that person. They want to help you Amen. get to the next level. Amen. Because they see where God wants to take you. Amen. Because they've been assigned to you. That's right. Amen. They've been assigned to you. We've been assigned to one another. Yes. Believe it. I mean, we in this house together. Mm-hmm. I, the only person I don't know is Sister Kim. <laughs> <laughs> I know her now. Amen. She's my sister now. <laughs> We done ate together. We done slept together. We <laughs> sisters now. Amen. Sister, uh, Apostle Jackie. We we sisters now. now. Amen. We sisters now. <laughs> Amen. We okay. We the rest of us. We got a little history. That's right. But we together. Yes. Right. We still together. right back here once again See together. Together. Come on. Amen. So it's time for us to take up that mantle. Yes. And go forward. Amen. Go forward. We can't go back. Sure I keep not. saying that. We can't no, go back no, now. No, no. We have experienced this right here. We can't go back. Amen. You can't act like this didn't happen. Amen. It happened. It did. That's good right there. Mm-hmm. It did. And it happened with the right people. Yes. At the right That's time. This amen. was on purpose. Amen. This was, this was on yes, purpose. Yes, was. Yeah. A Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yeah. The Holy Ghost yeah. setting us up. Amen. He's setting us up. Amen. For deliverance. Yes. Amen. For breakthrough. Yes. Everything. For prosperity. Yes. For healing. Yes, God. He set us up. Amen. I love the way the Holy Spirit sets us up. Amen. Amen. He sealed it with unity. Amen. 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 Yes, God. Thank Amen. you, Lord. He sealed it with unity. Hallelujah. And we just love one another. Yes. If we could just love one another. Yes. We love one another. Yeah. I don't care what's going on. We love one another. Amen. Amen. If I hear somebody talking about you in the street, I'm not gonna let that fly. Amen. That's good. That's good. No, I'm gonna shut that down. Exactly. That's, that's, my that's, exactly. that's my sister. Exactly. That's my sister. Amen. And the world needs to see us doing that. Yes. Exactly. They've yes. seen enough of us talking down on one another yes. and tearing each other down yes. behind closed doors. Hallelujah. And we talk in these situations. In these conversations with them, and then yo, that person walks by you, and you act like you ain't said nothing. Girl, mm. how you doing? They know you fake. Yes, <laughs> amen. They know you don't like that girl. Amen. Mm. Cause you just told them. Yes. Mm. We're hypocrites. Yes. They don't want what we got. We <laughs> acting like that. Amen. Yeah. But they need to see us love them. Yes. That's the glory. Yes. When you shut that mess down, mm-hmm. they know don't come to you with that no more. Amen. Right. Mm-hmm. Amen. The world knows. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. They know the difference. Mm-hmm. They could be drunk, stoned out of their mind. Mm-hmm. They still know. In a drunken stupor, mm. they can look and say, "Yeah, I don't like them church folk too much, but they real." Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They know the difference. Who's in your company? Hmm. 
Amen. That's good. Thank the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. That's Thank you so word. much. Thank very you, excellent. Very worthy. Thank you for that. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 I like what you said about the, in the relationships, because true relationship is knowing that I will defend you when you, in your absence. Amen. Mm -hmm. And if someone says anything about you, that's a true integrity of a relationship. Is someone who defends you in your absence. Amen. And will not allow not people to, to uh, tear down your your name. Amen. 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 And if, we, we see that in a way too with David um, when when Saul's servant came and he asked him where David was David Saul had already died mm -hmm. and he killed himself on the sword um, yes. and David killed the Bible lets us know he killed his servant mm -hmm. because you were you were supposed to protect him and you allowed it. Yes. Mm. David slaughtered him right there. Yes. Right. Amen. Well, don't let nobody else do it. That's Amen. Right. And it's because he says, and you're here, he says something, he makes it a, a statement, and you're here to tell it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. So you're telling me that your king died and you were in his in right. his presence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. David's cut his throat. I gotta take you out. David mm -hmm. was a warrior. Mm -hmm. He was no joke. Yes. Yes. He cut his throat. Yes. Amen. He cut his throat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut him, he killed him right there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's really that I love that because uh, you know the unity is a uh, extremely important. And I, I, when she was talking about the daughters of Z Zabelzebub, they wanted the inheritance of their father. Oh, I didn't mention that. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I got thought about those where they, yeah, they, were, they said yeah, and uh, they went to Moses, mm -hmm. I think it was, to get their inheritance. Mm -hmm. Um, I never daughters of Zalababa. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Here it's in, the, um, and they were a part of the generation of Israel who depended on, who departed from Egypt under Moses' leadership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can never can pronounce the name. Yeah. What's the? Oh, Zalababa. Zalababa. What a name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they were part of. Yes. They were part of. They were departed from Egypt under mm -hmm. Moses' leadership mm -hmm. and, and died during the fourth, 40 years of the, in the, when they died in the wilderness. Wow. Yeah. And there was a generation of those who had, uh, God had promised their father, you know, they were their, you know, their inheritance. And they went to Moses, the two sisters, mm -hmm. and then there's an inheritance of their fathers. And that's what is known mm -hmm. by daughters of of the last of all, how you pronounce that? Yeah, who is the last of all? Who? Shows how that I see there is the unity of the two sisters yes. coming together mm -hmm. to making okay. sure that each one had their inheritance. Right. Amen. You know? And um, you, it, what, you could tell when the prophetic happens because as you're pre preaching prophecy, it should be opening you up mm -hmm. and giving you revelation. That's, That's good preaching. Amen. That's what a preacher should do. Mm -hmm. So we don't just hoop and holler, mm -hmm. but it takes the, that preacher takes you to a dimension to make the word become flesh. Amen. It brings life. And I'm thinking about when you see Deborah, mm -hmm. he, she prophesied to Barak. Mm -hmm. the, this day, the the um, the the, it, the king will be given into a ha into your okay. hands from a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody thought that was Deborah, but it wasn't. But it was Joel. Mm. Yes. When he came, when the king came to Joel's tent, mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I love her. I call her the sharpshooter. All right. Mm -hmm. Because what she mm -hmm. does is that when she, he tells him, he tells Barak, she said, "Today, the king of Syria, he'll be given into your hands." Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Everybody yes. leaves it there. Yeah. But Amen. when you go into the next chapter, he's he's escaping. He needs yes. a place to hide. Amen. Amen. So he comes to Joel's tent. Yes. yes. And Joel <laughs> said, he says, I need, you know, can you give me some rest? Mm -hmm. And she mm -hmm. said, I mean, give me some water. But mm -hmm. Joel was so strategic, she gave him milk. milk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because we know what, what milk does when you're tired. Yes. It was yes. Yes. Exactly. Her girlfriend yes. was a sharpshooter. She was a sharpshooter yes. marine in that day yeah. and so as he went to sleep she took the tech pen and the hammer she and put it through his head yeah. and killed him yeah. so sure. that's the prophecy yeah. that Deborah told Barack yeah. and yeah. here comes Barack she mm. said you're looking for him mm. he's in there mm. sister girl cut cut his head <laughs> so you saw that I was yeah. 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 because you see two things happening with two sisters one yeah. sister prophesied yes. and the other sister 
Walk took right care of it. Right. This, she the carried one. it out. She's yes. talking about the yes. man. My God. It's me. I'm yes. Amen. Amen. I'm about to kill him. Yes. yes. All right? Yes. And the strategy that she My had. My God. She didn't give him water. Hey. She gave him milk. All right, now. Yes. yes. Right there. Yes. Go on, take him Put out. Put the ten peg in his head and yes. killed him. Sir, he comes to rock. You know Amen. Yeah. He right here. Yeah. 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 That's the prophecy. Yeah. Two females. Mm-hmm. Give it, one gives the prophecy, hey. one walks the prophecy. Amen. I love that. Amen. Amen. Oh, that is a strategy. Mm-hmm. That is a strategy. He asks for water. Mm-hmm. And they said that milk, those of you who are mothers, you know what milk does. Mm-hmm. It has a, I forgot the, what's the it's word like that's in it. milk. It's a mm-hmm. it's a chemical that's in like milk. Said, it's it's and it puts you to sleep. Mm-hmm. Warm milk. Mama needs to give me warm milk yes. in my bottle mm-hmm. with a little mm-hmm. sugar and yeah. okay. <laughs> You know that. Yes. You know the similar, like whatever yeah. you had, exactly. whether it was breast milk, all they needed the milk, and it was out. Yes. She yeah. already knew. She took her her. her her strategies and her tactics for being a mother and slaughtered him. God. Okay? My I love God. that. So yes. that there, if you ever look at the teamwork yeah. between mm-hmm. two sisters, yes. that's a good one right yes. there. That's yes. right. That. That she, right there. She comes right in there. She mm-hmm. she prophesies today the king will be given into the hands to you yes. from a woman. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talk about that. Yes. She prophesied. Yes. Yes. And not that she was getting arrogant. She's no. letting him know. She's telling the this prophecy. You go, he's going to be killed. Yes. But a female's going to kill yes. him for yes. him. And so here comes Joel. Mm. He comes into the tent, she kills him. Here he is. And he looking for him. Oh, yeah. She even says it in the scripture. <laughs> you looking for him? Yeah. He right here. So she said, You looking for him? I killed him. <laughs> now going in here. Bury him. Yeah. It's over. Uh-huh. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That there story right there. Yes. So as she as she's oh, talking, Jesus. the Lord just opened me up with that. Oh my God. That's team that's team really word. prophetic. Yes. Teamwork. One prophesies, mm-hmm. one walks the prophecy. Amen. Oh my God. Yes. So, You're still you, working Lord. together. No, no male had to do Amen. it. A female. Yes. Him. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Wow. And 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 that's a good point. Like no one who each other are in the spirit. Ah, you better mm-hmm. getting, up in here. Getting yes. that familiar with each oh, other, to loving each other and enough that you recognize the gift in one another yes. and allow that the spirit to walk it out. Because yes. I can't determine how mm-hmm. God's going to use you to help That's affect right. me, to bring me back, to, to bring me to that next level. Yes. And yes. so I have to recognize this is God working in you. Amen. Okay, where are we going? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Mm-hmm. And not only that, but like you were talking about getting that inheritance, we're working together to, in order for us to get our, to get our right. inheritance. Right. It's not just that's about right. me. It's that's about you. I want right. you to get that's yours. Right. I right. want This is sisterhood. Right. This is us working that's together. Right. Right. Okay? Right. It's yes. a difference. Yes. I don't need to take it over, yes. but I'm going to work with you, baby. We're going to get this I'm together. We're going to grow together. Yes. Okay? Yes, that's right. Yes, that's, yeah, I'm all about that. Let's get it. Come on, let's get it. What you need? Where you want? Where you want? Okay, let's go. That's right. What Doing, Michelle. Okay, that's what we doing. Okay, let's, let's do, do it, it then. Let's do it. Oh, what, lady? You yes. said what? Yes. Okay, let's go. Yes. <laughs> okay, Mona, let's ride. Yes. What? Yes. What we doing? Yes. Let's go get it. Yes. Don't just yes. sit on it. Let's go. That's right. And that's where I'm at. Let's go. Because you can do it by that's yourself. That's right. It, you can it do gets it harder. Yourself. But why not do why? it? Why? Exactly. We're better together. Amen. Mm-hmm. And and that's what she's been saying the whole time with the um with the boat. For instance, like she said, everybody got their individual um, um, ministries. Mm-hmm. But yet, if you think about it, if here it is, something's happening, the enemy sees you alone, mm-hmm. he's going to attack you because you're by yourself. By but yourself. when you got sisterhood mm-hmm. going on, mm-hmm. oh, I'm not just showing up. Like, he's showing up. Here come Michelle. Mm-hmm. Here come Vonda. Yeah. Here come Cindy. Here come my mama over yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, here come Kim. Hey, Kim. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Hey, Sister Jacqueline, you okay? Let's go, Apostle. (laughs) We rolling. You see what I'm saying? It's not just about me. It's about us. Because as she grow, I grow. As she grow, I grow. We're going together. And I believe that was the point, even of last night. We're growing together. Let's get there together. How? That's God. 
He's yes. going to get us there. We got to trust him to get us there. But as we are led by the Holy Spirit, and like I said, recognizing the gifts in one another, guess what? And knowing God is at work. It ain't her. It's the Father that's living within her. He's got He's got this. And so I'm going to trust the God in you. You trust in the God in me, and we're going to get there. Amen. That's good. That's good. That's good. Amen. That's good. Amen. Amen. Like basically, we just in, we just got into discussion. Just in case y'all didn't know, nah. lady, you said she was finished, and I know y'all leaving. So let's go ahead and do this discussion. I don't know if anybody else got anything to piggyback. I know my mama back there; she, she gotta have something. Listen, that atmosphere is open. So Amen. It's just in you. Go ahead. It's just it's stirred up. So yes. Go forth. Go forth. Yes. Stir it up. Amen. Oh, you look at me. Yes, because I know you got something to say. Go ahead. I know Miss Kim got gotta have something to say too. Okay, Miss Kim. <laughs> Amen. 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 Mother, you got something to say about sister? Yes. That is exactly what we stand My God, yes. You know, we talk about it, but mm-hmm. we don't do it. We got to live it out. You know, it's easy to say mm-hmm. and do. Yes. But that's why we have to encourage each other in mm-hmm. the Lord. Amen. And when we see one down, we're supposed to lift them up and pray for them. That's yes. right. But sometimes we don't. We, and we do more talking about them than we, like Sister Lady, uh, Lady. We say we talk about them more than we pray for you. Amen. You know, we're supposed to pray for each other in the world. You know, you are helping. Yes. Let the Holy Spirit lead us and guide us what to say. Yes. You know, so when we get out of flush and say things to people, we get out of order. Yes. But we allow the Holy Spirit to lead our hearts and let him speak to us and tell us what to say to that person. Amen. It helps lead them up. Even more so, speak through us. <laughs> Amen. And that's a time and a place for everything. Yes, it is. You know, I believe that. Amen. Sometimes I can speak to one of my grandkids, and I can't speak to them to, in front of everybody. Mm-hmm. I have to take them to Pull the side them mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. talk to them. Yes. So they can get an understanding. Because mm-hmm. everybody don't understand the same. And everybody's from different levels. levels. Mm-hmm. And God knows what level you at. Yes. And He knows how to meet you where you at. Amen. And bring you up uh, where you need to be. Amen. 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 It talks, there's a scripture in Proverbs that talks about the cluster of mm-hmm. grapes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's something about when the grapes are in the cluster, mm-hmm. they're more juicier, they're more stronger in the cluster. That's mm-hmm. so and so the cluster, the collaboration, when we come together and we collaborate, we make fine wine. Mm-hmm. You see? All right. You see? Yes. You get it? So it's like when we come together, mm-hmm. the more the grapes... The more on the vine, mm-hmm. we wow. will find wine together. Yes. And that's, that's what, yes. that's what's so good. As I hear you speak, my God, the, the more the grapes, the, the more, more the vine. The more the wine. Yes, the more the wine. The yes, the more the wine. My that's God. God. Yeah. Amen. Mm-hmm. Thank you, you know, for the wine. We, we even look at, we see Gideon in the wine press. Mm-hmm. Yes. And he's hiding. Yes. Mm-hmm. But God tells him, you mighty men of valor. Yes. So I say today, you mighty women of valor. Amen. You don't have to hide in the wine press. Amen. 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 It's now, this has been a good word because you're mighty women. Yes. Amen. 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 Some of your sharpshooters like Joel. Oh, yes. Amen. And some of yes. you prophesy it and you push it forward. Amen. You're the one to move forward. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. right now. Just like preparing the way. <laughs> Amen. Like, but you really, what is how God really used you? Because no one really looks at the scripture. But what took place today that I'm that just jumping in my spirit? This is what. When the scriptures, Paul says, the letter of the word. Yeah. If all you just know the letter, mm-hmm. it kills. Yes. But the spirit of the word, the word gives life. Amen. My words are spirit, Jesus Amen. says, and they have life. Mm-hmm. And so when we read the word, That's right. we must have yes. two things took place today. We have the rhema. Yes. And we have the logos. Yes. So she gave us the logos. Amen. But she gave us rhema with the logos because sure they're supposed to work together. That's yeah. right. And so we had the two of those fused together. It was a fusing of the, she gave us a rhema noun word yes. from the logos. Oh my word. God. And that's when you know 
when you're in a in a community of preaching, that's good preaching. Yes, it is. Because perhaps someone can give you the letter, mm -hmm. and you just got a lot of information, mm -hmm. and you went home the same way you came. Amen. But when you get the two from me together, mm -hmm. and it gives you revelation, oh, I never saw the word that yes. way. Yes. Wow, I've read it before, but mm -hmm. I never saw it that way. Yes. That's what it should do. Yes. That's where the word gets. Jesus Thank says, my word is spirit, spirit. and it yes. has a life. life. So that's what happens when we life. got this, what happened just now. Mm -hmm. So when Jesus. you got word, a lot of us know these scriptures. Amen. Yes. So yes. it's not see she gave everyone knew the logos yes. what she's given us, yes. but she took the logos and gave a right word right Amen. now that took place right now. Because you look at especially with Ruth and 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 I mean Elizabeth and Mary. Yes. Okay, everybody oh he it jumped in the room and people just go that far. But mm -hmm. she took you and gave you a rhema. Yes. She took you deeper in yes. there. Now take a look at this word a little yes. bit more right now yes. because you may have heard this before, but I'm gonna take you another way with deeper. this. That's mm. good preaching. Amen. Okay. Yes. That's when you know that's good preaching. Yeah. Because a lot of times we get so familiar with God's mm -hmm. word mm -hmm. and it does nothing. You just hear word, but there's no change. Amen. But see yeah. now you have the word and now you leave with change. Mm -hmm. That's why the word is supposed to be what it is for us yes. as believers. Mm -hmm. It is the constitution of the kingdom. My God. And so we take that, we say faith is the currency, yes. the word is the constitution, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit is the governor. Amen. So here she took Amen. the constitution. Now we Thank understand how we live in the kingdom from the constitution of the word of God. That's right. right. Today. Amen. And so, I mean, when I look at that, we read it, but also we know that the baby leaped. Yeah, and we right. know that the spirit came upon her and said it. Amen. But it's not done yet. Amen. Something happened. Yes. She prophesied to Mary. Amen. Ah, okay. Hey. You understand? Yes. So you gotta know yes. there's more to the My spirit God. than just the baby leaping. Amen. It's all we know. We're using the Christmas. Yeah. We do a Christmas show. <laughs> right. yeah. yeah. But no, you took it. No, there's more to this. Yes. This, this yes. impartation. There was mm -hmm. an impartation. Mm -hmm. And an activation at the same time. Amen. That's what the prophetic yes. does. Mm. There was an impartation, and then there was an activation. Mm. She, Mary, imparted, and it activated her to prophesy. Yes. Oh. Yes. Come on, you yes. see, yes. and that's that's yes. you see. Yes. So that's what that's that's what God is doing now in this era. Mm. Amen. Amen. So we can't put old wine in new wine. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Yes. 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 You know, man. I love Amen. when you said you can't go back. Amen. You can't go back. Mm -hmm. You can't be like Lot's wife. Looking back. Okay, because you have to, we know that Solomon Gomorrah was a very perverted place, mm -hmm. but you lived there, you got connections, mm -hmm. you had a business, mm -hmm. there are people there that you were with, mm -hmm. you were partners with. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving all of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. God says, don't look back, don't look keep, back. keep going. Yes. But there was something <coughs> out there mm -hmm. that she valued, yeah. and I always say, People know she looked back, she turned into a pillar of salt, but she she stood between two dimensions, mm. old and new, new. nowhere. Mm. Yeah. 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 The, we have a Sad. lot of people in the body of Christ. They see what's ahead, yeah. and they see back, and they're stuck between two dimensions. Mm. So can't go for it, can't just go stuck. backwards. Stuck. Stuck. Just stuck. In the middle. Can't go nowhere. My God. Now she wow. couldn't, she couldn't wow. go back. She she couldn't that, go back. That, that world was over. Yeah. But she couldn't go forward neither. Oh. No. So here she goes. She's just right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jeez. My God. And there's so many people in the church. Oh, my God. 70 years. Mm -hmm. 80 years. Yes. She's right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. We're not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Oh so we can't God. be like Lot's wife. Because when she said, don't look back. Don't be what not lots what. Amen. Whatever was back there is you over. Need to stay back so there. the scripture Amen. that comes to life. Forget the form of things. things. Yes. I do a new thing. Mm -hmm. But it comes to yes. prophetic. Mm -hmm. Don't you see it? Mm -hmm. Oh, so that means I have to see it through the eyes of the prophetic. That's mm -hmm. right. Because he said, Don't you see it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I don't see it. <laughs> then allow me to open your eyes so that you can see it. Because if you can't see it, I'm gonna open your eyes and allow you to see it. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing, she's stuck. Mm -hmm. No back, no forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She can't go nowhere. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or she can see forward, and that's over and back. Mm -hmm. And she turned to a pillow salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you that's said nice. go back, mm -hmm. see the prophetic is flowing. Yes. Mm -hmm. God said, Lot's wife, do you remember? Mm -hmm. See, that's what, the, that's what good preaching should do. It Amen. should make the word come alive. Because yes. mm -hmm. the word of God is alive. Yes, it, is alive. Is. it never comes back to him empty. Mm -hmm. But Amen. it will accomplish what, is what it said it's going to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's yes. not only the rhema word, yes. not only the logos, but the rhema word. Yes. Yes. So if you're getting a prophecy, it's God speaking. 
it's not going to come back to him empty. Amen. Yes. Your prophetic word will accomplish what it said it's going to do yes. because it is the word of God. Yes. It's the rhema word. Mm -hmm. And it's still God's word. Mm -hmm. And so what the enemy tries to do is allow the cares of the world to choke what you heard. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that you forget the word. Right. Yes. But when we stand on it, like we're going to do today, it's going to produce what? A thousand and Amen. more. A hundredfold. Yes. Yes. And that's what it should yes. today. We Amen. run with what has been spoken. We got new relationships. Yes. We got new covenant partners. Yes. So now yes. it's that's what it means. It multiplies. Yes. Uh, yes. Multiply. Like that. Amen. 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 Yes. But I'm Amen. seeing that yes. when you said Amen. what you said, it brought me back to that dream that I told you about with the bridge. And I was telling you that when the bridge, the dream that I had with the bridge was, as you were crossing over with the bridge, I, at this time I had... The first time I, I came into the bridge, this is a whole other dream. These I had like four dreams, but anyway, of this bridge. But anyways, the first time I was going up the bridge, and I was having to make a decision because both it was like it was really high, and I realized because in my dream I even got nervous because mm -hmm. I, I was like, wait, I'm way up here, wait, mm -hmm. hold up, okay, and so I, it was a choice: either I go left or I go keep straight. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, that's an arrow. You know, I'm not supposed to go left. And um, all of a sudden, I heard the voice, like a, like a, you know, navigation system said, keep straight. And I said, okay, I'm going to keep straight. But I knew on, with this bridge, it opened up. Well, I hadn't, you know, I just knew it did. Mm -hmm. And so I said, okay, he said, keep straight. So then I was like, Okay, I'm going to listen to the voice because he said he's straight. As soon as I made the decision, I woke up. Then I had another dream just recently um, after that where the dream, where I was uh, going across this bridge. So obviously I had been through the bridge before by myself, but this time I had people with me. I remember it was Tashi, but the people weren't ready. It was like they needed... Is they had to, told me about? And yeah, that they had to get their stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, they, it was like they forget, they kept forgetting stuff back there, and they was needing to go back. But with the with the bridge, the timing was impeccable. Like you had to have the right timing to cross the bridge. I knew, okay, if I'm going to go across this bridge, you know, everybody got to be ready. Everybody got to have their stuff. Otherwise, we got to turn around, go get it, and come back. And so I was like, I was willing to do that because otherwise, if you got if you got on the bridge and say, for instance, the bridge went up because this bridge mm -hmm. went up, that same bridge that I saw that went up mm -hmm. was this bridge. And so this bridge, if you didn't cross over at the right time, you wouldn't get across it mm -hmm. because it would come up mm -hmm. just like, you know, how those bridges that come up yeah. when the boats are coming. Mm -hmm. That's what type of bridge this was. And so if it came up. You know, then it would turn you around and send you back. Mm -hmm. If you got there at the right time, you got to cross over. Mm -hmm. If you got there right before and, and you would be mm -hmm. stuck in the middle and you couldn't go forward or backward because it then went up, you're not on it. So you're not going backwards, but you got to wait on it. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Wow. And so I knew, okay, everybody got to be right. Everybody got to ha have everything they need. Yeah. And I got to make sure the timing is right so we can cross over yes. together. Yeah. But uh, what, your dream is extremely prophetic, and you need to be writing your dreams down. I do. You yes, don't take lightly. Yes. Because oh, what you. your dreams has a lot to do with transition. Mm -hmm. And her preaching today was profound. Yeah. Because she gave you different characteristics of right relationships and wrong. Yes. There's some you're going to have to leave. Amen. Because they're not ready to go. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's going to be the challenge for mm -hmm. you. Because you you want to go back and get them, mm -hmm. but you can't because of the timing of that bridge. Because mm -hmm. if you don't cross over at the right time, mm -hmm. you're going to miss. You're going to miss something. Mm -hmm. And you're going to miss the, the Kairos moment mm -hmm. of your destiny. Jesus. And destiny, we are destiny helpers. Amen. Mm -hmm. But we're not partnering with your destiny as personal. Amen. I want you to hear me again. Amen. We're destiny helpers. Mm -hmm. But your destiny is not mine. Amen. You gotta know that. Amen. That's everybody. From blood to not blood. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's the challenge. Mm -hmm. And we see it with everyone biblically. Mm -hmm. Pack up, leave your kinship. Pack up. 
we see it, God had to do it with Joseph. Mm -hmm. He allowed that to happen with Joseph. Mm -hmm. We see it with David. We see it with many of, of the people of God. Mm -hmm. It has to be because it would interfere with the timing that God has for you. Amen. And I say that because as a witness of my own life, mm -hmm. that's what he said to me. Mm -hmm. The most hardest thing for me to do. Mm -hmm. He said, I know you love them. Mm -hmm. And he said it has nothing to do with you not loving them. Because one of the things that is the most challenging things for us as believers is when God has us to go a direction. A lot of times when we go in direction, there are a lot of those who are not going with us. Mm -hmm. We look at Joshua as a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Now, he was a minister. Mm -hmm. that's, the word, that's where we see the word only in the Bible, minister, in certain contexts. Is when the Bible says that Joshua was a minister to Moses. Mm -hmm. The word in that scripture means servant. Yeah, amen. He was a servant to Moses. So we get an idea that Moses was like a spiritual father. Mm -hmm. Moses was like a mentor. Yeah. He served him. Mm -hmm. He was able to see the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. Everything happened. Yeah. Now Moses is dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean prophetically? That Things in our lives are now dead. They're old chapters. Mm -hmm. It's over. Mm -hmm. Moses was a chapter in Joshua's life. Mm -hmm. It's finished. Mm -hmm. We can we can use that story prophetically in anything. What is your Moses that is dead? Mm -hmm. I want you to think about mm -hmm. that right now. Mm -hmm. What is now dead and is finished? Everybody has a Moses. Yeah. Yes. What is it? New job, business, ministry. Everybody has some type of Moses, mm -hmm. or relationships, or partnership. Mm -hmm. What is your Moses? Mm -hmm. Amen. What is your Moses? And then he he knows that there's change happening. So here comes God, because mm -hmm. that's how he is with us. Mm -hmm. He starts to cheer him up, and he says to him, mm -hmm. be courageous and be a good cheer. I'm with you. Yes. Um, but when you look in, I think, the third chapter, he says, now, Joshua, where are you going? You have not been this way before. Yes. Oh. Yes. Amen. Okay, so now you're going a whole different route. Yes. The Bible lets us know the whole new generation is coming with Joshua. Yes. So this is the challenge for every one of us as believers. Mm -hmm. What is your Moses? Mm -hmm. And you have to know that Moses chapter is dead. Mm -hmm. Because if he is the author and finisher of our faith, so he's the author. Yes, he is. So now there's a new blank page. Yes. He is the author writing it. Amen. And I always say to my mentees, Leave the pencils down and let God get writing. Because mm -hmm. he is the author. Yes, he mm -hmm. is. And mm -hmm. so this is the challenge in this new time, this new season, is this new season. Where you're going, Joshua, you have not been this way before. Mm -hmm. So your, your, your prophetic dream and what you're speaking has a lot to do. As you, you And what's great when you're hearing it, it's a story that everybody kind of has. So the bridge has a lot to do with crossing over from the old to the new. Amen. Everything this weekend has been prophetic. What does the ark has to do? Coming from the old, crossing over mm -hmm. to the new. Amen. 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 Because he had mm -hmm. to, he built the ark. Everybody's a lot of things that you're building. Mm -hmm. People are going to think it's stupid and mm -hmm. it's ridiculous. Amen. They don't can't. They don't understand. They it. don't. But you still have to build it. Gotta build it anyway. There's Amen. a movie that was out years ago Amen. that I think it was very prophetic. Yeah. If you build it, they it will come. come. Oh. That's right. Amen. I what saw you that. Build it. That's right. Yes. If you build it, I want to say that if you build it, if you build it, if you build it with the blueprint of the Holy Spirit, yes. He's going to come. Hey. If you're allowing Him to guide you with the blueprint of how it's yeah. built, it's a very strong prophetic movie. Yes. Because He wants yes. to get rid of the farm. Amen. Amen. Kevin Costner wants to get rid of the farm. Yes. They're not making money, yes. but there's something supernatural on that farm that he has no idea that he has no money. But on that farm, he can make millions, but he doesn't realize that. Amen. So what happens? There's a super, we look at it. There's a supernatural thing that happens. He has to. He has to. He realized there's something he has to find out before he sells that farm. Mm. So we see James L. Jones and all of this stuff because it has to do with the old league. Mm -hmm. of baseball mm -hmm. and his father was one of those leagues of that baseball mm -hmm. which was right there on that land yes. oh my god mm -hmm. don't tell mm -hmm. me that's not perfect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so here he is and he's finding all this information but something supernatural is happening on that farm 
and he has to and we see these different things that are happening in this story even when his daughter where we see the the guy who's now was a doctor has to he's in he's on that field but he has to step out now to heal his daughter mm -hmm. but all these things happen and he keeps hearing a voice if you build it they will come mm -hmm. so what's happening when he gets more revelation and he realizes this is a baseball field mm -hmm. this could be a place where something can grow. And yeah. at the end of the movie, you see that he doesn't sell it and all the thousands of people are coming down the road. Mm -hmm. Now he was a place where he thought he was in poverty. Now he's a millionaire. Yeah. Amen. You, cannot tell me. you yeah. have to watch the movie yeah. Yeah. and allow yeah. the Holy Spirit yeah. to give you insight on yeah. that. Yeah. So what I want to say, whatever God has for you, if you build it, yes. they will come. Amen. 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 And so, but you have to know <coughs> that where you're going, you have not been this way before. Yes. And some, some cannot go. Amen. 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 And it's okay. It's not because you don't love them. Mm -hmm. And it's not every now and then you pick up to give a call. Hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But they're not going where you're going. Mm -hmm. Because your destiny is yours and my destiny is mine. Right. Yes. Amen. 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 It's just like the Bible says there are many gifts. Mm -hmm. But it's one spirit. Amen. The right. same spirit that is guiding my destiny yes. is right. guiding yours. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so we know we're on the road of where we're going. Yes. But your assignment is not mine. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. And exactly. you have to know that as you get ready to cross over to what you need to do, you have to stay steadfast to your assignment. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it's not about pulling others in with mm -hmm. your assignment mm -hmm. because they're not a part of your assignment. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. Amen. There was, um, if you don't mind, Pop, so there's something that you was talking about, mm -hmm. and you was talking about uh, Lot's wife. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that powerful? Yeah. There's so much you can get from that, that yeah. story. Because when she looked back, and I'm just going to share with you, when she looked back, uh -huh. there was a reason why she looked back. Mm -hmm. That's what we said, yes. And her heart was stuck. Mm -hmm. Everything, yes. So when her heart is stuck, mm -hmm. she got it stuck in between. There goes her husband mm -hmm. and, and her daughter's. There goes her daughters mm -hmm. and maybe her grandkids. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Mm -hmm. If they're not, she's stuck mm -hmm. in between. Mm -hmm. But the the mercy and grace came along. Mm -hmm. And now the Lord is saying, if you be about my business, mm -hmm. I'll be about yours. Now he's going to take care of your family mm -hmm. because you're taking care of his business. Yes. You know, And now he can bring them in because you're doing what mm -hmm. the Lord told you. Yeah. You do, do. I love and what do. you just said because, and what's so hard I want you to check this out because you're right and you have to go and do about God's business because Lot didn't go back for his wife oh. no he didn't no he didn't that's he your didn't baby back. He that's didn't right. back. I know you my honey yeah. right. but I gotta listen to God that's right he didn't go back for Sweetie right. Pooh. Mm -hmm. He didn't go back for Sweetie Pooh. Mm -hmm. No. He, he didn't go back. I got to go back and get my wife. Not no. this time. God said, you look up. So, don't hey, I'm like this. I'm, I'm with God. He can give me another wife. Yeah. But no, really. You saw that? Yeah. 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 You ever thought yeah. about that? That's right. Life didn't go back and look at, go get his no. wife, my baby. No. no, he didn't. He heard the word. I love you. Yeah. Took but if you're not with me, don't look back. So, he had to leave her. You see that? He had to leave her. So, sometimes you got to leave. That's right. God says, don't look back. That's his wife. Yeah. That's his, the two become one flesh. But yeah. now that moment it wasn't. No. That's right. You see? And sometimes you can't, you cannot, he had to leave her. Yes. That's yeah. right. Now was his wife, but yes. the, 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 the mother of his children. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Got to leave her. Mm -hmm. And so when you say that, he'll take care of your business. And sometimes well, you, you got to, yeah, yes. but you, right. sometimes you got to do like life. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You got to leave him. Yeah. Yeah. He had to leave her. And let him yeah. do it. And let him do it. Yeah. And that's his wife. Yeah. That's his loved one. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, Ma, you got to leave him. Yes, and you got to trust God. Yes, it's just God. like what happened. God says, put your son on the altar. Why? Yeah. Because he wanted to make sure that he, so that son was not an right. idol. Yeah. Because yeah. it was the only son he had. But he didn't tell him. I want to test you. The Lord says, I'm going to test you now. Make sure your son's not an idol. You got to put him on the altar. If he only had one, you might tell him that he had one son. But I'm going to see if I'm still first. What did you do? Put him on the altar. He did. He did. Yeah. 
I mean, I thought about that. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, a preacher would preach that to him. Yes. Yeah. That's what Yes. And yeah. that was a promise but God made to him. That's right. When God and makes and you a promise, God carries the promise out that's for you. It. You have to. Yeah, so that's why he yeah. had to be but taken. Yeah, I never, I didn't that think about that. I heard a leader speech about that. He said, you know the spot didn't go back to the spot. He didn't go back. He didn't go back. He heard the word. Look back. And so he couldn't he look knew, back to see if she was he not knew, there. He knew something. I believe he knew something had happened, but he heard. Uh -uh, I can't. It don't even matter what just happened. I cannot, cannot look, look back. back. I got to he, he looked back. He would have been just like her. Yes. He, he, he stood there. He, he, he would have been right there he with her. Right there with her. They would have been partners that would have the rest yes. of them to fall. That's right. Because everybody would start looking back. And everybody would right. stuff. That's right. So he his obedience yes. mm -hmm. of what God told him to do. And he just kept going. But he obedient, you know, he obedient is better, better than sacrifice. Better than sacrifice. Better than sacrifice. Oh, I'm not going to sacrifice yeah. going back to get you. He, you better it's listen true because this one I, time. And you, you're right. Thing. He could have knew that something was wrong, but he couldn't. Yeah. He, he couldn't had no back. time to go back and fix it. You no. got, you got an intuition. Wait, this ain't something about this ain't right. Now I got to go. I got to go. There you go. I'm going to take care of that. And it's not always easy. No. No. She's doing what she's supposed to be doing, whatever the Lord put in her spirit for this child, mm -hmm. not realizing that this child is going to help me get what I need. She needed that. She needed to feel that motherly thing again. And so the two encouraged each other. Just as, you said, just as the profound word you talked about, Elizabeth and Mary. You know, okay, the baby's there. Is it still alive? I hadn't, it hasn't been moving. It hasn't been doing anything. But but by her speaking, it brought it, 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 it activated what she was carrying. Yes. And that's why a lot of times you need people to speak to activate. But then there was an exchange. Yes. What was the exchange? The exchange was Mary prophesying to her, her prophesying to Mary to encourage her. You're blessed. Mm -hmm. I just want you to know mm -hmm. all is going to be well. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to go through, but yeah. you're blessed. Yeah. You see the exchange? Yes. Yeah. That was a good exchange. Yeah. Blessed is the, blessed is your womb. Womb. That's it. Now this womb, is that's blessed. Womb. Even though you don't know how you it's going to get there and how it's going to get there, you're going to get the persecution and people are going to think you, you know, uh, you're hoarding a whore around. Yeah. But blessed is what you got in your womb. Yeah. So yeah. both of them got blessed for what they were birthing. I, I look at it too as two. You see two. Women, you, t you see two forerunners. You see two reformers in those two rooms. Right. Jesus was a reformer. He was the forerunner to prepare. They both were carrying. They were both were carrying forerunners. They were both carrying reformers in their belly. 
and they were one was coming before the one that was coming after, yes. and so they were encouraging each other because they were both birthing a new reformation that was yes. about to take place yes. on the earth. My God, my God, wow! I love that. Mm, I love that. I, I, it, it's it's yes. not females, but you see, <coughs> you can see two two things happen in the Bible. That's like that. They're two males. You see. Yes, G, I call it Jesus, the interviewer of the disciples. He says, okay, now what are people saying who I am? And so they all start speaking, because this is what they're hearing other people say. And some say you're this, and some tell you the John the Baptist. He says, okay, now who do you say? I want to know what you're hearing, because you're hearing that what everybody else is preaching to you. But, but they couldn't, but one man could. And he says, you're the Christ. And he goes, oh, a person didn't tell you that. My father did. Now watch what happens. He says, my father told you that. And on that word, now he's now going to tell. Peter tells Jesus who he was. Now Jesus is now going to tell Peter who he is. Oh my God. He says to him, he says, now you, your name is Peter. He says, and on that word you gave me, the church will always move on revelation. He said, on that, that word rock means revelation. And on that revelation, the church will be built and the gates of hell should not be come against. But remember, he said, on that rock, he says, now I give you the keys. See, when you get revelation, you get keys. You have access. So now he has access from the revelation. So he says, on that, I give you the keys, not to the church, but to the, what? The kingdom. This is what we're doing that God wants us now. The more revelation, the more access we get to the kingdom. So two exchange happened. He tells Jesus who he is, and then Jesus tells him who he was. My God. Oh my God. And I'm listening to the, he says, now your name. Now let me tell you now who you are since you told me who I am. Now I'm going to tell you who you are. On that revelation, on that revelation, your name is Peter, and the gates of hell shall not become a decent church, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. An exchange took two places for two men. Right there was an exchange to what the kingdom of God is going to operate through that voice. Oh my God. Now that was an exchange. That was an exchange. Who do you say that I am? Here he tells him. He says, okay, now I'm going to tell you who you are. On that rock, your name is Peter. And I'm going to tell you, oh my God. When I read that, I says, oh my God. And God was just saying, he says, the church is built on revelation. <laughs> so on that revelation, and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. My God, what an exchange. Now he got an exchange. He got, Peter got an exchange. Oh my God, what an exchange. That's an exchange. He said, I mean, if, I think if he was here today, he says, oh, look, people didn't tell you that. Flesh and blood did not reveal no, no, that not to you. you. Uh, a person didn't tell you that. No, all, all you guys, you just was listening to what everybody else right, said. But you right. couldn't tell me what revelation you yeah. got. But this one here, mm. he had God's voice. Yeah. He had God's voice. Yeah. And because of that, now I'm going to tell you who you are. Yeah. That was something. Isn't that something? Wow. Oh, man. That day, you get so much of that. Because, you know, he tells Peter, but he's prophesying to mm -hmm. Peter. He's telling mm -hmm. Peter who he is. Mm -hmm. Because Peter prophesied to him. Mm -hmm. He told him, you are the Christ. Mm -hmm. So two prophetic things. Exchanges take place wow. right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's and good. make you want to go grab five get to read and look, it. That's how we have out. when we have alive. groups like this. Yes. This makes you want to read them. That's right. That's right. That's right. And this is what it should be. That's right. It should open you up to get more yeah. into you it. Get in into this thing. Yeah. Like, what? Oh, there's yeah. more. Yeah. 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 Yes, I want to see that. I want to see that. I want to see that. Yes. Oh, you go back and read that. I know it. I know it. Yes. Oh my God. Jesus tells him who he was. More of that. Yes. Oh man, it is because you know sometimes I'm just looking at that. You never look at that that way. No, but he is. He's now there's an exchange that takes place there. Exactly. He's now he's. I mean, you can turn your phone forward. You got a choice. Okay, because I remember you had left it up there. No, I brought everything down and everything is in the. Are you two related? Because you both have beautiful hair. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, this is kind of this is adding. <laughs> this is adding. Well, whatever it was, oh, it's thank yours you. once it's in there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I, 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 I said, no, I bought some. She says, well, you bought it. It's yours. It's your hair. Well, well, yes, yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> said, did you she said, just, it's on your head. You bought it. Yeah. Then it's yours. That's it. I'm going to use this restroom. Yes. 
We can begin ready to go. Okay, so we have to help Sister Evelyn with yes. her things, right? Uh -huh. I want to bring the Jeep close oh, to once. Okay. Just go ahead and get your, you said you want to take some you, fruit you with you or something? Yeah. 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 It was on point. Yeah. Thank the Lord took us right into the, into the, to understand that the word is a prophetic book. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is a prophetic book. Yes. Thank you. Look, if you see it, you'll find it. Yes, and if you're not looking for it, you won't see it. Exactly. And that's why I say, you know, let people look around and say, I'm going to be so good. 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 It's his word, and you don't get to accept it. It's another good for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly.
Because I want to let the people who want to be aware of the moment. Mm -hmm. you know, but I'm getting it now. I think it's in my heart. Yeah, you did right up there. Don't forget your bananas. Where did it go? Okay. Yes. Hi. Uh oh, so these are your chocolate covers? No, yeah. ma'am.